Yonder is Caesar. Noble friends, that which combined us was most great. Let not a leaner action rend us. What's amiss? May it be gently heard when we debate our trivial difference loud. It is spoken well. Were we before our armies and to fight, I should do thus. Welcome to Rome. Thank you. Sit. Sit, sir. Nay, then. I learn you take things ill which are not so. Or if being, concern you not. I must be laughed at. If or for nothing or a little, I should say myself offended. My being in Egypt, Caesar, what was to you? You may be pleased to catch my intent by what did here befall me. Your wife and brother made wars upon me. You do mistake your business. My brother never did urge me in his act. Of this my letters before did satisfy you. If you'll patch a quarrel as matter whole you have not to make it with, it must not be with this. You praise yourself by laying defects of judgment to me, but you patched up your excuses. Not so, not so. As for my wife, I would you had her spirit in such another. The third of the world is yours, which with a snaffle you may pace easy, but not such a wife. Truth is that phobia to have me out of Egypt made wars here. For which myself, the ignorant motive, do so far ask pardon as befits mine honor to stoop in such a case. Tis nobly spoken. If it may please you to no further enforce the grieves between ye. Wordly spoken, Agrippa. Or, if you could borrow one another's love, for the instant you may, when you hear no more words from Pompey, return it again. You shall have time to wrangle in when there is nothing else to do. Thou art a soldier only. Speak no more. Oh, that the truth should be silent. I almost forgot. You wrong this presence, therefore speak no more. Go to, then. Uh, your considerate stone. I do not much dislike the matter, but the manner of his speech. For it cannot be we shall remain in friendship, our conditions so differing in their acts. Give me leave, Caesar. Speak, Agrippa. Thou hast a sister, on thy mother's side, admired Octavia. Great Mark Antony is now a widower. <laughs> Say not so, Agrippa. If Cleopatra heard you, your reproof were well deserved of rashness. I am not married, Caesar. Let me hear Agrippa further speak. To hold you in perpetual amity, to make you brothers, to knit your hearts in an unslippy knot, take Anthony Octavia to his wife. Will Caesar speak? Not till he hears how Antony is touched with what is spoke already. What power is in Agrippa? If I should say, Agrippa, be it so, to make this good. The power of Caesar, and his power unto Octavia. Let me have thy hand. Further this act of grace, and from this hour the hearts of brothers govern in our loves and sway our great design. There is my hand. A sister, I bequeath you, who no brother ever loved so dearly. Let her live to join our kingdoms and our hearts. Happily. Amen. <clears throat> Time calls upon us. Of us must Pompey presently be sought, or else he seeks out us. Where lies he? About the Mount Masena. What is his strength by land? Great and increasing, but by sea he is an absolute master. So is the report. Yet, ere we put ourselves in arms, dispatch we the business we have talked of. With most gladness. And do invite you to my sister's view, whither straight I'll lead you. Let us, Lepidus, not lack your company. 